we've got another pretty, pretty, pretty big difference size matchup, I assume. The smaller guy is going to pull guard pretty far. Jordan telling me basically that guy uh, fights lions for a living, you know, so we don't want any of that at sub spectrum. We're looking for safe and easy matches here against human beings, not animals, but. Oh, nice triangle attempt, big guy rotates out of it. That was, a, that was a good submission attempt. I like to see that, you know, these guys going after it straight away. Being the smaller guy, I, I probably assume he's got to pick up the pace and just send it the whole time, get the big fella tied, see how he goes. Did we want to do the switch to the other tripod? Yeah, I think I, yeah, I'm going to switch it. You know what these guys' names are? Yeah, so we've got Mike Estes from Smart and then Matthew Marsh. Okay, we've got a little fella, Matthew Marsh, on bottom with a, a nice triangle attempt. I like to see him get after it with no points. He's definitely going to keep the pace going in this match. We'll, we'll see the fella on top trying to put some heavy pressure down. Uh, I can see Australia on the back of that guy's pants. I know he, he might actually win with that nice country on his shorts. You know, five minutes on the clock. I don't know if you guys can see that. But. Another triangle attempt, he's using his arms to wrap around the legs to keep the pressure. I assume if he gets somewhere close, he's probably going to stack him again, but his right hand is in. This is pretty tough to finish. He's got to try to either get that right arm out or maybe omoplata on that other side, but looks like he's gable gripping with his hand, put in some heavy pressure down. Now his arm's actually out. Let's see if we can get something here. He's doing the old school big boy escape. Let's see if we can get a tighter. Oh, it looks not too bad, man. Not too bad. He might be able to actually cinch this up. It's a, it's a decent triangle attempt. He's got to get his leg under that knee, cut the corner to his left side. This, this looks a little bit better, actually. Well, his legs are going to come apart. I'm not sure if he'll get this one. Hit him with that big boy smash. Got him out of that triangle. It was a good attempt, though, there. Definitely given an advantage. An advantage for an IBGF. Nice. Oh, nice. Still no points here, guys. Remember, we've got three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. No points scored. A couple good submission attempts from the fella on bottom. He's taking a, taking a breather. Guy on top putting some heavy pressure on. So once we see that time over, I'm not sure if we'll actually see points. I'd probably have to ask Jordan, but if he passes and ends up there and then it's points, it's no points anyway, right? No, he has to score it in the scoring period. If, if he accomplishes, well, yeah. So he's gonna have to, he'd have to be in the garden and just yeah. have to do it again, right? Yeah, so no points are going to be awarded. If you get passed in the no scoring period, the guy's inside control and. The timer runs down and it goes below the three minutes. Like now it's points. Points are alive. Still no points, right? So if he goes knee on belly or something from here, we can, we can award something. But looks like he's going for a north-south choke here. I can imagine that's not bloody comfortable. That big shoulder on his neck. He's settling a little bit. It looks like he might be, might be about to take. He's got his thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. False alarm. He's all good. You can imagine it's not bloody comfortable, though. He's probably going to wait out a little bit, either try to circle to the front headlock, do a little silly side control escape or something and get out of here. He's got to get his right arm a little bit deeper and, and his shoulder to the mat to get more pressure on the neck. I, I, I don't think the guy's worried at all. I don't think he has it really. Yeah, let's go. He's going to move position. There we go. Nearly out. Trying to recover to half guard or close guard. Nice. So now if he passes, he's going to get that three points. He's looking at the time. We've got two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Looking for a Kimura ice cream on the other side. He's wearing that weight heavy. Big boy. Probably looking for a Kimura here from side control. That is, oh, trying to fold it behind his back. That's a pretty good attempt. That's three points for the guard pass from half, half guard. Still got the Kimura looked up. Gonna probably try, try to fold it behind his head. Give him the old, give him the old chicken wing. Oh, he's out of it, let it go. One minute and 20 seconds, guys. That's three points for the guard pass from half guard. That's pretty nice. Put some heavy pressure down. 
hit him with that big boy squeeze, looking for maybe an arm crush on that side that he's grabbing. He's tapping, he's tapping, I don't know what happened. Maybe he whispered some sweet nothings to him and convinced him to tap so they can split the absolute money. Who knows, you know? Hopefully we don't have any corruption here at Subspectrum, but maybe these competitors are getting together and they're going to split the money in the end. We'll see, but... I'm about the same size as that guy on bottom. I know that doesn't feel good with that pressure, so... Nice guard pass from the big fella and moving to side control. Still attacking the submission, which is awesome to see. These guys are still moving, going after it. It's, it's, it's awesome. Matthew? Mike Warren. Destis. Mike, Warren. Mike Destis wins. Great work. Nice guard pass with the submission by top pressure. Big boy squeeze. I don't know what you guys want to call that, but he did take the win there.